today, I'll be starting my very own dinosaur zoo. -a. What an exciting day! Oh, I stand corrected! It's the bird dinosaur! There's only one problem. I don't have any dinosaurs. What I do have is this dinosaur trap and this leaf pile. If I push the leaf pile onto the trap, the dinosaur will have no idea that it's there, and boom, we caught our first dinosaur! And boom, we caught our first dinosaur! A Parasaurolophus! It failed to catch- wait a second, hold on! This was not in my handbook. They did not teach me what to do. Okay, I need to interact with it or it will escape. That is amazing. Look at that, boys and girls. We got our first dinosaur of the day. All we have to do now is lead it back to the Parasaurolophus enclosure. Every time I catch a brand new dinosaur, I need you guys to leave name suggestions for it in the comments of this video. While you're down there, make sure you guys smash like with your forehead. If this video can get over 15,000 likes, I'll make another episode where we catch even more dinosaurs. Also, if I can catch more dinosaurs, I'll unlock better equipment that I can use to capture my dinosaurs. And also vehicles, like an ATV and eventually a helicopter. Right now I have to walk everywhere and my legs are already getting pretty darn tired. All right, this is it. Let's see if I can get the dinosaur in here. And then I think I just break this thing open. We did it, dino captured, let's go! There is still lots of work to do. I, st I have to build every darn enclosure in today's video. And I have to catch the dinosaurs. I am literally going to have to be a one-man dino catching army. How's it going, Dr. Luke? Hey there, Ranger. We need to make sure our dinos are as happy as can be. We've developed some enrichment toys for the dinos to use in their enclosures. In the chest next to me, you'll find rubber balls, dinosaur bones, and rubber barrels. In order, d these toys for herbivores. D I don't know. <laughs> Dr. Luke, what are you saying? Cool, we got balls, rubber barrels, dinosaur bones, and a dinosaur guide. Well, hello there, Mr. Dinosaur. How have you been? You're looking big. Do you want to play with the rubber ball? Uh, did it work? Yeah, it did. Okay, it did. And I believe that means we have officially set up our first dino exhibit. Before people come, we have to decorate using dino cubes and also some palm trees. Oh yeah, okay, this looks nice. So we're gonna plop down a little palm tree there. Ooh, all right, that is much tinier than I thought it would be. What about one right there? This looks like a good spot for a dino cube. Oh, wait, that's so sick. Look, there's little tiny dinosaurs on it. Palm tree, three of palm. Dino cube. Tree, tray, cube. Trip indeed. Tree, box. This place is starting to come together and actually look like a dinosaur zoo. Dr. Saur, just let me know that it's time to go off on my own and capture dinosaurs for the Beck Pro Jurassic Park. Thank you, Dr. Saur. I love you. <laughs> what an exciting day, ladies and gentlemen. I want your guys' help. What different dinosaurs should I add to my dinosaur zoo? My goal is to try to get as many people in my zoo as possible. These are a list of all the different dinosaurs that we're able to capture. There's herbivores, carnivores, and also marine dinosaurs. And a flying dinosaur. All right, so I've already gotten my hands on one herbivore. So let's go over to the carnivore section and try my luck. I see one. How's it going, buddy? Look at this big dude. It's just a big old lizard. I'm gonna set dinosaur trap. I'm gonna put meat pile down. Get inside of there, big boy. Oh, it worked. Let's go. Is that a Tyrannosaurus Rex? I don't know, but we're gonna go see if we can build the enclosure and put my brand new dinosaur in there. Wait, I just realized I, I still, I have to build the enclosure. Okay, hold up. Uh, this might be a slight problem. Okay, so that right there, I believe is a Spinosaurus. Um, we don't have a Spinosaurus. What we have is a good old fashioned Allosaurus. All right, well, it's inside of a pit, right? So I don't think I need any any fences. Yeah, no, I, th I think we're good. We're gonna go down here. This is like where they normally put gorillas. They'll just put them in a, like a giant hole in the ground so they're not able to get out and uh, you know, you'll punch anybody in the face. But in my case, I won't have to worry about my dinosaur getting out and trying to eat everybody. It's trying to eat me. Do we have any security here? Security code run. Oh God, okay, okay, okay. Oh, flip, dude. Can I get out of here? Somebody really should have thought of a better system to get out of here because I'm pretty sure I'm flipping trapped, dude. Whew. All right, I think we're safe for now. Let's go. 
Oh, we got our second dinosaur. Oh, uh, he looks so sad down there. He did try to eat me about 10 seconds ago, so I don't feel that bad. So when it comes to carnivores, you do not want them escaping. Even though my big Allosaurus is inside a hole in the ground, we should probably add in some heavy walls. Yes. That looks beautiful. Whoa, more heavy wild right there. This side for sure. And last but not least, we'll close this one off too. Once we have visitors in here, we can't be taking any chances of a small toddler accidentally crawling into an Allosaurus enclosure. That is a lawsuit waiting to happen, and my dad is not a lawyer. The next dinosaurs I want to find are the marine dinosaurs. My eyes are peeled, but uh, it does not matter. I, I don't see any marine dinosaurs in the, this huge river right here. It's kind of a little bit frustrating because I've been looking around for quite some time. Dinosaur! Marco! They're supposed to say polo. Nobody's saying polo. There has to be something down here. Oh, wait a second. They're starting to spawn in. How do I capture it? Do I use a fishing rod? This is probably not a fishing rod sort of situation. Oh my flip, dude. Wait, there's so many spawning in. I think this is a plesiosaur. Okay, uh, what I'm gonna need to do is figure out where to place down my dino trap. I'm guessing maybe right there. Come on! Okay, what if I put a lead on it? Can I lead it down into a trap? Oh gosh, okay, I may have wasted a trap. What if I lure it onto land into the trap? I'm drowning, I'm drowning. We got this, we can do this. Yes, wait, hold on, it, it, it is following me. We got this, yes, you big, green, beautiful machine. Come on, wait, don't leave me. Do not leave, get into my trap. What What do you like to eat? Do you like to eat meat? Oh gosh, I don't, do I don't, they, they, they probably like to eat fish, right? Flip, dude, I don't have any fish. Gosh, I came so underprepared to catch a ginormous fish. What about leaves? Do you like leaves? I don't know what to do. Wait, hold on, I have an idea. So I know sometimes with bigger aquatic creatures, they will just have to lure it all the way into the exhibit. I see a hole over here. Oh, this might be it. This might be how we get the dinosaurs into their enclosures. I did it, wait a second, okay. It, it's in, it's in. Dino captured. The Elasmosaurs, the Elasmosaurs. Close the gate, close the gate, Jack. We did it, let's go. Very nice work if I do say so myself. Okay, we should probably add some fences around this because a creature of that size could easily jump out of this exhibit. I've seen Jurassic World. I know just how powerful these things are. Okay, so what I have to do is probably add in, let's just go with some light walls. I honestly don't think I need to worry too much about these things doing some serious damage to my walls. There's one wall, we'll add one right there. This looks good to me. And the last wall right there. That means so far we have one of every type of dinosaur except for the flying dinosaurs. I might be able to find a pterodactyl over here in the pterodome. Is this a spot that I want to be? Let's go ahead upstairs. There was nothing up here, so let's head back downstairs. Hello? Bird! Does anybody see a bird? Guys, if you see anything that kind of resembles a pterodactyl, please let me know in the comments down below because I personally, I don't see a bird anywhere. I don't know if we're gonna find the bird. Oh, I stand corrected. It's the bird dinosaur. Okay. The pterodactyl is probably going to be the most difficult dinosaur to capture yet. How do I even get it? Do, do I? Okay, hold on. Wait, I'm gonna use my brain here. I have a trap. I'm pretty sure they eat leaves. We're gonna make a leaf trap and we'll also put down a dinosaur trap with meat. Let's see, can I can I attract you? Wait, no way, it worked! I can't believe it, it's a meat eater! You will follow me and we will take you to the pterodome. I can't believe that actually worked! I thought for sure that thing was going to fly away, but it is a dinosaur, which means that it has a very, very tiny brain. And I use that to my advantage. I may be tricked it, but it's gonna have a nice, big, beautiful home in the pterodome. All right, welcome to your brand new home. Capture the pterodactyl. That is amazing. That means we now have four different dinosaurs. Oh, boys and girls, look at this. Okay, so if I can unlock two more dinos, I'll have six in total and I'll get the ATV. I have been using my two legs to walk all over the Beckbro Jurassic Zoo and it's been tiring and very time consuming. I need to get two more dinosaurs so my legs don't break. Holy smokes, guys, look at that. Is that a Velociraptor? If that is a Velociraptor, then I am dead, dude. That thing is quick. Okay, I'm gonna have to lure it back here. We will place down one dinosaur trap, one meat pile in the trap. Oh, put down the meat pile! Oh my goodness! Bro, just in the nick of time, we got that off. I wonder if I can catch multiple dinosaurs at once. I see another one right over there in the distance. We're gonna be very sneaky. Just gonna sneak up to it. What's, what is that? 
I don't know what that is. It looked like some sort of gas. Okay, hold up, hold up. Dinosaur trap down. Meat in the pile. Add the meat. Add the flipping meat. Wait, did I did I just catch the did I catch the same one in the in the same trap? Are there two dinosaurs? I feel like I just accidentally combined two dinosaurs together. Oh no, wait a second, hold on, hold on. I need to get over there ASAP. For whatever reason, it glitched. Yes, we got another one! We are doing absolutely dino amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Some people might say we are, uh, dino -mite. No? Nothing? All right, I'll stop. Okay, let's look to see what type of dinosaurs we caught. They're not an Allosaurus. They're way too skinny to be an Allosaurus. Wait, if you guys look over there, I think it could be this. It was a Velociraptor. Oh, I knew it. All right, we're gonna bring them down here. I broke a leg, but it's worth it. All right, let's get one. And then we'll get the second one out. Yes, we did it. We did it. Okay, cool. We have uh, six dinosaurs, which means we now have access to the ATV. Hey, yo, let's go. Don't forget, guys, leave name suggestions for my brand new dinosaurs down below in the comments. We're back at headquarters and boom, baby, there it is. Oh, it is magnificent. And it's huge. This thing is like triple my size. Can I get in? Yes, I can. I look like a small child trying to drive this thing, but look how much faster I go. Oh, we're gonna be able to catch so many dinosaurs using this. Hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode.